Hey guys, it's Marissa, and today's video is going to be a get ready with me, and I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes of a horror show that I acted in. And comment down below what your favorite horror movie is. I think mine is definitely The Purge, so comment down below and let me know what yours is. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. So the show that I acted on is called Sunny Family Cult and it's on Crypt TV and I'll explain more about my character and my role at the end of the video but yeah go check it out link will be down below and let's get into the makeup. So I'm starting out by priming my face and I want to go for kind of a natural look but I also want to do a little bit more full coverage and just cover up any blemishes especially because I am going to be on set all day. So I'm just concealing all over my face and just blending that in with a beauty blender. And I like using a beauty blender just because it makes the look really flawless and it tends to look a lot like less cakey when I use a beauty blender as opposed to like a makeup brush. Remember what Elsa from Frozen said, conceal it, don't feel it. <laughs> don't let the blemishes show. So for foundation, I'm actually mixing a CC cream that has SPF 50 in it. And I am already going to put on some sunblock, but it's good to use a CC cream that has SPF in it just because I know we're going to be shooting outside and it's going to be really hot and sunny and I don't want to get sunburnt. And I also mix that with the Peach Perfect foundation and it's more dewy so it's perfect for like shooting outside. So next I'm just setting it with this mattifying powder and I'm probably going to bring some of this with me in a bag just to touch up because I do get very oily throughout the day. So after I primed my eyes I just took this peachy shade and put it in my crease. Next I took these purple shadows from Kevin O'Quan and I used the lighter one and I just blended that into my crease a little bit more to deepen it and this was actually a lot more pigmented than I thought but um, I really like it and I do think that going darker with my shadow is a good thing because if it kind of fades throughout the day it'll still look really nice. And I know that sometimes your makeup can look a little bit washed out on camera, so it is better to go a little bit darker and a little bit more heavy. And now I'm just warming my face up a little bit with this Givenchy Healthy Glow Powder. Now I'm just taking a sparkly ColourPop shadow and just putting it on my lid with my finger. So I'm not going to use too much bronzer because I do have a lot of blemishes on my cheeks, but I took a little bit of the Hoola bronzer and just warmed my face up. And now I'm just taking some Rimmel blush and just patting it on my cheeks a little bit. Um, I try not to go too heavy with blush. So anytime I'm on camera, I love for my highlight to really pop. So I'm using Champagne Pop from Becca on my cheeks. And I'm putting a lot on just because I know that when I do go heavy on my highlighter, I don't have to reapply it throughout the day. And now I'm just filling in my brows a bit just to darken them up. I'm not putting on any false lashes because I do feel like they don't 
really look natural on me, so I'm just putting on a little bit of mascara, not too many coats. And last, I'm just putting a little bit of a lip gloss on. And I feel like it's funny because whenever I film makeup tutorials, people sometimes think I'm already wearing something on my lips just because I have naturally pigmented lips. But yeah, this is just kind of the finishing touch. And I also added this cute little moon necklace from Lulu DK. And finally, I put on a couple spritzes of the Jo Malone Red Roses, and I love the smell of this, and I'm going to be on set in the hot sun. I don't want to smell bad, so yeah. So here is the outfit I wore to set, just this cute little ripped shirt and shorts. Hey guys, it's Marissa. So I'm here on the set of Sunny Family Cult, and it's hot outside, guys. It's the desert, but yeah, the set looks really cool. Definitely very like thriller, kind of horror movie-esque. So come on, let's show you guys some of the set, some of the scenes. So this is what the set looked like, and it was really cool. It was basically this abandoned motel in like the middle of the desert. There was just nothing but desert around us, so it felt very authentic. Like you just know a crazy psychopath killer is gonna like pop out of nowhere, you know? And I'm not gonna tell you guys if I live or if I die because you're gonna have to just go watch the episode for yourself. Um, and oh yeah, this is my boyfriend. Not my real boyfriend, but my boyfriend that I just met like 10 minutes ago. My boyfriend for the scene. So definitely go check out the episode of Sunny Family Cult that I was in. I will link it down below. Let me know what you guys think of it. Hey guys, so I wrapped up filming and I had so much fun. Something crazy happens to me in this episode. You'll never guess what happens. You just gonna have to go watch it for yourself. <laughs> and I love you guys. Mwah.